Welcome back to this series on the Bitwig modulators. So next up we're going to look at the envelope follower. So if I bring in some audio, so I've got this synth here. Now if I insert um, a filter, um, and I'm using a, a VST filter here. If I bring that in, <clears throat> And if I add the envelope follower onto here, what this is doing is looking at the incoming audio. I put that on the wrong track. Let's put that there. So this is looking at the incoming audio and then using that as a modulation source. So what I can do is use that to modulate the frequency down so that when the audio docks, the filter docks too. So you kind of accentuate the movement of that. Um, and the next one I want to show you is that you can, you can actually um, chain devices and use one modulator for all of them and this is where it, where it can get really interesting and really exciting so you could have a whole whole chain of devices all being uh, modulated by the same modulator so if i group those now um, i now have modulation boxes for all of the devices within the group so if i move that over there now if i click the arrow you can see all of the um, parameters are blue so now i can apply that to there and also apply it to the delay so that when the filter goes down the delay turns up and obviously there's tons more you can do with that okay so the next one I'm going to show you is the MIDI expressions so if I just bring in some MIDI and uh, bring in the polysynth again And let's play the middle. And let's just make a quick patch. Okay, that's fine. So if I bring in the um, MIDI, sorry, the expressions modulator. So on here you've got um, your standard MIDI expressions, velocity, timbre, release, and pressure. Um, but again, I can apply this to anything in the synth. So um, in this instance, if I applied the velocity to the amount of unison of the second oscillator. So right now you can see that the unison is, is steady in the middle. And that's because the velocity of all of this MIDI is uh, currently at 49.2, so dead in the middle. But if I click this here, I can see the um, velocity graph and I can bring that down and obviously you'll hear the unison coming down um, and I can bring this up to increase the unison now if I introduce some chaos which spreads the velocity out over the notes in a random fashion um, you can hear the chaos uh, you can hear the chorus sorry um, changing for each note and then obviously you can edit this manually um, but then you can also apply this to anything you want and you have um, further expressions here so um, you can use those for anything and again you can chain them so that's great uh, the next one i want to show you is the key track function if i bring the key track in so let's apply that to the filter and bring the filter down a little bit now if we play it you'll see as the um as the notes are obviously going up the scale they're pushing um the filter up and the great thing about this key track is you can actually adjust the curve for the key track so obviously you can choose how quickly it moves between the points so that's really cool and uh, the last two for this video are the macros so you've basically got a single macro and a quad macro and yeah they, they work as any macro word it's just a, a knob you can turn up and down awesome all right i'll see you in the next video the pyramind mentorship network connects you to experienced professionals for truly customized private training in music production sound design music business and more Use our scheduling tool to select the type of training you want, pick your mentor, find a day and time that works best for you, then book your session. 
your appointment will be confirmed instantly. Study only what you want, progress at your own pace, pay as you go, and do it all from the comfort of your home or studio. Our global network of industry experts are here to help you. Visit Pyramind.com mentorship to get started.